Hey everyone and welcome back to Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. On this video we're getting an S rank on two missions. Reach the Coral Convergence and Escape. So let's start our first mission. Reach the Coral Convergence. Combat zone is Institute City. Objective reach destination slash destroy enemy ACs. The reward is 520,000 currency and the details. Eliminate the two ACs dispatched by the corporations and reach the Coral Convergence. And this will conclude Chapter 4. You saw the ruins. Institute City. The mausoleum of the sinners who caused the fires of Ibis. The Coral's right there, waiting. Archibus has ordered us to discontinue the survey and hand things over to their own AC squad. 621. We're done with the corporations. Wipe out the Archibus AC squad and get to the Coral first. When this job is over, I'll tell you about the last of my friend's requests. Okay, so let's say hello and I'll do my best to try to focus Materlink. They're the easier one to take down. He left himself wide open. Archibus of stars on the rise. And me. I'll be well rewarded when I bring them your head on a silver platter. Please, Snail, come in. The Vespers left her for dead. It wasn't for me. The credit shall be all mine. A fabulous opportunity. <laughs> we both did our abilities. Ah, oh, he's in a bad angle. I can't get him up there. There we go. Oh, how'd that miss? He wasn't even moving. Whatever, finish him off. Alright, so let's grab the chest right here. It's an IA CO1W3 Aurora. And this way to our objective. Okay, so we want to drop down and take care of these saw blade looking things. You want to use. You want to use your songbirds on them. That machine is running on stable energy. 
energy for half a century. Perhaps it should be no surprise that humanity so desires coral. I'm trying to get their attention. You want to bring them in one at a time so they can just songbird them and not have to deal with them. Because they're actually really nasty enemies. They're just really easy to take down with the songbirds. So just draw them out with a shot. Let them roll in and blast them. Oh, is he coming for me? Nope. But I kind of wish he was now. Couple. All right, now this one, this group over here is four. Sometimes you can get two. This must be tracking us by now. Hurry, six, two, one. Sometimes you can get two with your first shot, and I almost did there. I didn't quite finish him off. There we go. Left right shoulder ammunition at fifty percent. All right. Where's that last one? There he is. Some birds are ready. Come charging in, buddy. There you go. All right, that one well. Oh, there's one more. Crap. Some birds, are you ready? Yes. All right, so they were guarding a chest. IACO1W2 Moonlight. Let's go ahead and heal. One repair kit remaining. Right, we got a wreck. Image data, STK sketch. A sketch by the famed artist STK, who perished half a century ago during the fires of Ibis. His style was assimilated by AI artists, and with time, Mimicry supplanted the real technique. Notes, STK. Professor, two assistants. Boy. Assistant one's heading for a breakdown. Boy's sharper than he looks. Alright, so these are coming alive. Blast them. Finished him. Left shoulder oh, completely whiffed that shot. Kaboom! Miss! Alright, I gotta be careful. I'm actually blowing through my somber shots really badly. Let's wait for a better opportunity. Usually I can just catch him, but it'll be a little more strategic here. Oh, he kicked me, but that's alright, he paid for it. Alright, there we go. You heal up. Alright, up to the bridge and watch out as soon as you get up there. Look to your right. way. Get these guys down. We got this one over here. Watch out for that one sniping in the back. The response All right. is getting stronger. We're nearly there, 621. Assuming you still have missiles, blast him with them. Finish him up. All right, and we made it to a resupply.
Faster than I'd expected. Raven, I knew Walter was... Wait, something's coming. Unidentified machine overhead. All right, so we're looking for opportunities for songbirds. So right there, this is always a chance. So turn around and shoot. You want that attack. That's a guaranteed. Guaranteed songbird land every time. Alright, I need a better opportunity. Get up for that. Come on, give me something to work with. Oh, potentially right here. Got it. I right, finish it. Ah, oh, I couldn't quite finish it. I think I hit him healing. Round two. Oh, right, here we go. Opportunity. Take advantage. Oh, back up and then songbirds. Perfect. for an opportunity to do something big to it. Time for that. All right, opportunity. Take advantage. Oh, I missed some somehow. Oh, that sucks. Not quite sure what happened there. Slamming down, watch out for that. Now, what's he up to? Oh, that's a little close. Alright, healing up. Alright, dodge that. Dodge that, and then you go airborne. And then he'll land there. Blow him up.
Oh, opportunity, perfect. Are my song blades even ready, or songbirds? Yes, they were. Oh, he's done. He's done. Clean. Resolve inherited from its creators, voices from the past feeding into. <laughs> Well, that did not end well. We got paid 520,000. Our expenses were 179,506. Repair costs were 48,546. And ammunition was 130,960. We take home 340,494. We also got some new parts. Light Wave Cannon, IA CO1W3 Aurora. And Light Wave Blade, IA CO1W2 Moonlight. We also made Log Hunt Program Progress, which gets us another part, a headpiece, 20081 Mind Alpha. Archibus seized control of the core. And its occupying forces swiftly commandeered the entirety of Institute City. There, they discovered a wealth of forgotten relics. Among them, experimental weapons that the Institute kept secret, fearing they were beyond human control. A group of sea weapons bearing the name of the Central Coral Control System. The Ibis series. Archibus also claimed a towering coral siphon, abandoned since the fires. The vascular plant. Now, they toil to repair the plant and extend its reach beyond Rubicon's atmosphere. The Liberation Front no longer had the power to stop them. And the fires of war continued to smolder as the end drew near. Raven? I have found a message addressed to you. Decoding and playing back. Six two one. A friend of mine sent a request. Now, this one comes from me. You know what hidden dangers lurk within the coral. Fires of Ibis should have wiped the coral out, but it survived, gathered, and it's been steadily multiplying ever since. Now the coral convergence is growing at an exponential rate. Eventually, it'll spill out from Rubicon and contaminate space itself. The coral must be burned, 621. Even if that means reigniting the fire that scorched the stars. This isn't an order. It's a legacy. My fallen friends entrusted this duty to me. And now it's my turn to hand it on. 
was thinking. This AC. He must have foreseen this outcome and prepared for it. It's time for us to escape. Main system. Activating combat mode. Sortie using an older AC. You will use an old gen AC instead of your usual craft on this mission. This AC is made from junk parts, and its performance leaves much to be desired. Hold R2 for rapid fire uh, right hand machine gun, and L1 will fire the left shoulder scatter bazooka. I found some coordinates in the AC systems. He's showing us the way out. I can't believe they put us on sewer duty. <laughs> it's that ancient piece of shit they're worried about. Is that an AC? Where'd it come from? That piece of scrap's alive. Is that Institute deck? You should avoid combat as much as possible, Raven. I'm afraid this AC is no match for your abilities. Jamming rounds. Jamming rounds rupture on impact, creating an area of area effect that disrupts enemy lock-on. This AC is equipped with a jamming round launcher as its left hand weapon. So L2 fire left hand jamming round launcher. We're at a disadvantage. Let's find a way around them. If they do spot you, your left hand weapon is equipped with jamming rounds. Alright, we're gonna go around. We don't want to mess with the big boy. Not with this AC. Alright, so around the corner is the uh, the big guy. We're gonna hit him with a jamming round. So then we can access this. Video record testing new components. Video record extracted from a wreck. One can see performance tests of an unpiloted AC. An officer's voice can be heard in the background. I see no significant difference in performance compared to what an AI can achieve. How very disappointing. This experiment was another failure then. Regardless, I will have answers. The arrival of ACs brought the age of unpiloted craft to an end. But what essential difference makes them superior? Send a message to the factory. Have them leave the torso intact next time. I can't lock on! Raven, now's our chance. Here's our way back to the surface. This AC should have just enough propulsion. Is this the outskirts of Institute City? This is V6 Tater. Calling all security team members. Raven, the independent mercenary undergoing re-education, has escaped. Be alert for anyone hiding in the environs of Institute City. Tighten the net. Raven, Archibus is on high alert. Use your scanner to evade combat situations. Alright, so we're just gonna assault boost over here. We don't need the scanner. And up. Searchlights. We'll be in trouble if they spot us. Over here. And we'll go up to here. And then zip across here to this building. An object. Far from our destination, Raven. Walter's message. And what's this? I've checked. It's not a trap. Emergency beacon intercepted. Been a while, tourist. Good to see you are still kicking. 
Chief's coming to pick you up. Head to the rendezvous point. He's from our AD. Karma. She has to be involved with Walter's mission. Alright. These three are in the way. Let's take them out. Alright, so no payment or expenses for that mission. We got new parts, a headpiece, AHJ-124RC jailbreak. And then a core piece, ACJ-120RC jailbreak. Arms, AAJ-123RC jailbreak. And bipedal legs, ALJ one to one RC jailbreak. Augmented human C four six two one entering standard mode. Incoming comms. Back in your old AC, you were made for each other. The fact that you're still alive means that Walter made the right bet. All right. You deserve to know what we've been fighting for. I'll get you introduced with the next mission. All right, we have new parts available for purchase in the part shop. Let's go get our S ranks. So starting with reach the coral convergence. So we need to dominate these first two ACs. Ah. Yes. I smell opportunity. AP 
Oh my god, I got just slightly too far to the left there. Alright, blast him. There we go. Alright, it wasn't terrible. Let's go. Oh crap! There's extra targets. No! I didn't see them. Hurry up. Alright, let's go. Looks like you're clear. Keep moving. Hopefully those like extra ten seconds or whatever don't fail us. Saw blade should be coming. There it is. Ah, miss. Oh, that did so much damage. What the heck? Alright, I'm gonna heal. Just to oh my god. Stuck, I can't move. Ugh. This is going terribly. Alright, where is these? Alright, got rid of that one. This one up top. Let the other one go. There it is. Alright, let's go. All right, wasn't pretty, but as long as we do well on the boss, we should be fine. Let's grab my resupply. And let's go. It's all. Here we are, six two one. Archibus will be here soon. Investigate before they arrive. All right, here we go. Oh, he moved it on me. Oh, that sucked. All right, here we go. Opportunity. Oh, it missed. What the heck? Why did it miss? All right, finish the snagger? No, didn't do it. Going up. Uh, okay, I dodged early. That's what happened. Dang it. Kaboom. All right, finish it up. And... Oh, my God. Hit it. Oh, I can't hit it. Oh, my God. No. I, I, you gotta be kidding me. I cannot hit it. There we go. Ah, man, that could have been so much better. Enemy coral response. Silent. Let's keep up the pressure, Wait. though. It's coming back. It's reactivating. Is this what the Ibis series is true? Oh, 
Oh, perfect. That was close. Oh, look out for that. And airborne. Got it. Ooh. I healed up. Oh, I didn't quite get the stagger. Can I finish it? No. Jump for that. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Got it. Nearly got it, six two one. You're the only one who can finish the job. Back up. Oh, it wasn't quite ready. Kaboom! Oh, I got it. Right there. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it! Got it! Oh, that was such a clean second phase. I, I think that salvaged our S rank. I don't think we would have had it without that. Uh, there it goes. Sweet. All right. <laughs> it took forever. Uh, so that time we got paid 520000 Our expenses were 149984 Repair costs were 46544 And ammunition was 103440 S-Rank. We took home 370000 Woot. All right. Now to get the S-Rank on our second mission, Escape. This one's significantly easier. Main system, activating combat mode. Okay. Let's go. I found some coordinates in the AC systems. He's showing us the way out. Is that an AC? I'm just going as fast as I can. Oh, what the? Oh, he got me with that. Oh, he's still alive. That's what happened. Oh no! Crap. Oh god. This the outskirts of Institute City. This is V6 Pater, calling all security team members. Raven, the independent mercenary undergoing re-education, has escaped. Be alert for anyone hiding in the environs of Institute City. Tighten the net. Okay. Raven. Archibus is on high alert. Use your scanner to evade combat situations. Searchlights. Up here. We'll be in trouble if they spot us. I don't know if it matters if you actually get caught or not, but I don't want to test it. We're not far from our destination, Raven. Oh crap! I didn't let my What's supplies this? come back, but I managed to get there. I've checked. It's not a trap. All right. Let's immediately go over here. Target resist. You 
longer authorized to use lethal force. Stop Raven by all means necessary. You have your orders. Okay, took on that group. Now it's for this one. Another AC. Alright, took them all out. Took very little damage, it was quick. We should be good. And we didn't get caught, if that matters. I don't think it does. Show me my ass rank. And there we go. Alrighty, so we got both of those ass ranks. And we have new stuff. And my voice is kind of going. Hopefully it lasts. So. Let's see. Under assembly, we got... That new weapon, was that a hand weapon? Apparently not. Let's see. Left hand, maybe? Mm, yes. Alright, so Lightwave Blade, IA CO1 W2 Moonlight. Lightwave Blade developed long ago by the Rubicon Research Institute. Fuses laser and pulse technology to accompany slashing attacks with waves of light. Charge to increase output, emitting larger waves of light. So, attack power is low, and so is impact. Consecutive hits is two. Weight is low, E and load is high. Yeah, I don't... Like, maybe you can just use it a lot. Maybe it doesn't go on cooldown for long. Direct hit adjustment's high, 175. Effective raid range of 280. So, hold on, can you use this at range? Is that the deal? Fuses laser and pulse technology to accompany slashing attack. Yeah, so I think it's, like, I think the benefit here is that it's technically a ranged attack. But I have not used it, so I can't say for sure. Charge impact, charge attack power, and charge accumulation impact are really high. 2,010 on the charge attack. So maybe this is just good for the charge attack. Hard to say. But yeah. Seems interesting. Plus, low weight. That's nice. Alright, where's that other weapon? Here it is. Light Wave Cannon. IAC01W3 Aurora. Light Wave Cannon developed long ago by the Rubicon Research Institute. This fusion of laser and pulse technology fires energy projectiles accompanied by distinctive fluctuations. So attack power seems low. 134 times 4. Impact is 102 times 4. Total rounds is 100. Weight's medium. E and load is high. I don't know. This seems a little lacking. Effective range is okay. It's 930. Direct hit adjustment, 175. Sorry about my voice. I don't know why it's dying on me. Um, yeah, this seems underwhelming. Maybe you can use it a lot. Uh, reload times, 5.5. No, that's slow. Weird. I don't know. This seems not great. Ammunition cost is low. Yeah, not sure about that one. All right, then we have armor. We've got head 20081 Mind Alpha. Head part developed by All Mind for model ACs. Designed as part of a research project to extend human sensory capabilities with numerous optimizations to create an AC that, to the pilot, feels like an extension of the body. Uh, so yeah, lower 
defensive stats all around. Weights medium, Ian load is lower. So yeah, if you want lower weight and Ian load, maybe you could go with this. But outside of that, it's not looking very good. Not looking very good. Scan distance is also less. Huh. Okay. Not impressed. And then we have our bad items, but we know they're bad. So head AHJ one two four RC jailbreak junk. <laughs> right at the start, junk. Originally a head part for an old generation AC developed by Boss. RAD engineers infiltrated Institute City or City to make field repairs. Just enough to make this part operable, but not enough to fix its weathered armor. So yeah, there's really no reason to use this stuff. It was just for that mission. It's not good. Nothing to really go over here. If you wanted to put yourself at a disadvantage for fun, you could wear it, but otherwise not good. All right, then we got our ACJ120 RC jailbreak. Junk. Originally a core part for an old generation AC developed by Boz. RAD engineers infiltrated Institute City to make field repairs, just enough to make this part operable, but not enough to fix its weathered armor. So once again, no real reason to ever use this. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the arms. We have AAJ123RC Jailbreak. Junk. Originally arm parts for an old generation AC developed by Boz. RAD engineers infiltrated Institute City to make field repairs. Just enough to make this part operable. But not enough to fix this weathered armor. So, once again, junk. And the legs. Junk. Originally bipedal leg parts for an old generation AC developed by Boz. Same description throughout. Okay, so that's our new parts, but there's also stuff in the parts shop. Let's take a look. So, wait, is this new? No. Okay, so we have a needle gun, ELPW00 Viento. Needle gun developed by Okano, a semi-auto weapon that fires special needle-shaped ammunition, provides a good balance of attack power and impact. So this is interesting. Attack power 181, impact 195, total rounds 120. So total rounds is a little low, I'd say. Weight is low, Ian load is low, and uh, yeah, reload time is quick, and fire rate is 4.0. So it shoots pretty fast. I can see it accumulating really quickly, especially with impact. Could be good. Okay, then we have a grenade launcher, Dizzy. Heavy grenade launcher developed by Melanite, a handheld weapon painstakingly designed. From the composition of its explosive charges to the specifications of its barrel to maximize firepower. Greatest blast radius in its class. So, high attack power, high impact, but total rounds only 26. That's really, really low. Very high weight high EN load, and uh, if you look at the details, the direct hit adjustment's actually bad, so that's a little disappointing. And then, um, reload time, 8.9. Oof. Oof. It's super low. Or super long. Uh, ammunition costs 1,500. That's also painful. So, yeah, I don't see that one working out. Then we have a laser rifle, VE-66LRB. Double-barreled laser rifle designed by Arquebus ADD. This is a power-hungry, high-performance variant that features two barrels in a vertical juxtaposition. Can be charged to fully, or can be charged to amplify its power. So, attack power is 778. Impact is low, but that's typical for laser weapons. Total rounds 108, seems on the lower side, Weight is ridiculous. 7,760 and EN load is also really high. But look at that charge attack power. 2,352 and charge impact is 690. 
That's significant. Effective range 324, ideal range 206. Okay. Cooling's worse than my handguns, but that's to be expected. Total rounds is 108. Ammunition costs 400. That seems exceptionally high. Yeah, I don't know about that. And then we have a split missile launcher, the HML G3 P08 SPL 06. Handheld split missile launcher developed by Furlong Dynamics, an ambitious entry in Furlong's third gen lineup. This weapon improves accuracy with missile payloads that split as they approach their target. So, let's see. Attack powers. Pretty good, but not like amazing. Impact 600. Total rounds, once again, really low. I don't like that. Weight is 4,630. EN load is 180. So, on the lower side for EN load. Not really impressed with this either. Direct head adjustment's not great. Effective range is amazing though, so good for long range. Ammunition cost is 650. Yeah, probably not gonna use that. All right, anything new? Oh, we have a laser dagger. The VP67 LD. Laser dagger developed by Archibus, designed for close range combat using lightweight craft. This energy weapon is built to deliver agile slashing attacks Charge to blitz the area with an instantaneous sweep attack. So, attack power 752. It does three consecutive hits, so that's pretty good. 2250, roughly. 2256 to be exact. Uh, impact 310, but once again, you get all three hits. That's 930, that's not bad. Low weight, low E in load. Charge attack power, pretty high actually. 1688 and apparently does a large sweep plus a lot of impact on that Direct hit adjustments high Cooling is great So presumably you can use it a lot Looks pretty good It's worth a try if we want to do melee All right anything else other than the weapons we had on the other side No all right, right back unit. Let's see, this isn't new, is it? No. All right, so we have a plasma cannon, the Fasan 60E. Plasma cannon developed by Schneider. The internals of this weapon feature plasma technology provided by BCPL. Charged to ramp up output and expand blast radius. So attack power, not bad. 1560 impact is also pretty high. Total rounds, eh, it's okay-ish. Weight is high, EN load is uh, really high, 882, jeez. Let's see, blast radius is only 30. Sounds a bit of a bummer. Charge attack power is 2400. That's very, very high. 1272 impact on that. Um, Charge blast radius goes up to 60. Direct head adjustment's bad. No good there. Charge time's two seconds. Total rounds, yeah. Cooling 196. I don't know, seems decent. 540, I don't know if it's worth that EN load. That's a bit crazy. All right, then we have a grenade cannon, Earshot. Heavy grenade cannon developed by Melanite. A high-end model, its raw power and blast radius verge on excessive and make it hard to handle. Yet still, it enchants mercenaries with its considerable destructive force. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. 2,098. Impact is also pretty freaking high, 1,455. Total rounds is 16 though. Ugh, that is awful. Plus super heavy, plus pretty high E in load. Uh, effective range is 720, which is pretty good. Oh, reload time is 12.8. Yeah, this, I mean, you could really burst with this, but I don't think it's worth it. All right, what else do we got? We have 
Container Missile Launcher, the BML G1 P29 C and T. Container Missile Launcher developed by Furlong Dynamics. Fires a container that flies in a forward trajectory and is loaded with a large number of micro missiles, which scatter explosions during the container's flight. So, I don't know how to calculate in this damage if each little micro missile is doing 1422. That's insane. An impact of 1278. Total rounds so low. Oh my god, just 12. Weight is on the higher side. E and load is low. But yeah, I, I need to know how they're calculating the damage. Reload time's 12 seconds. It's a bit long. Ammunition cost is 800, but once again, if that damage is really that high from all those little micro missiles, this is insane. So we'll have to try it. All right, then we have a vertical missile launcher, the BML G1 P07 BTC-12. 12 cell vertical missile launcher developed by Furlong Dynamics. High vertical trajectory allows missiles to deny enemies cover and circumvent such defenses. This is the heavyweight AC model and is also capable of multi-lock. So lots and lots and lots of missiles. 124 times 12. Impact is 89 times 12. Total rounds, 360, so they give you a lot. Although if it's 12 per, that would be what, just 30, really? So maybe it's actually not that much. Uh, weight, 5,010, medium, medium to high, and E and load is high. Direct hit adjustments are right. Guidance of 480, effective range 1,000, that's pretty good. Homing lock time, 1.4. Maximum lock count. Jeez, you got like 12 targets with this thing. Uh, reload time 7.5. That's pretty quick. Ammunition 120. That's not bad. Wonder if that's per missile though. All right, that was a interesting choice. What's this? Wait, is this really new? I thought it showed new. Yeah, this might be new. Dual Missile Launcher BML G2 P08 Duo 03. Oh, I think I saw that right. Okay. Medium sized three cell dual missile launcher developed by Furlong Dynamics. Traps targets in pincer trajectory, limiting evasive options. A coaxial version of an existing Furlong multi missile launcher capable of multi lock. So, attack powers if you land all six missiles around, what is that like? 872, I think, if my math is right, off the top of my head. Or no, 8, 876, I believe. Impact would be around 540. Uh, total rounds 156. Weight's medium, EN load is high. I don't know, this doesn't seem very impressive. Direct head adjustments on the higher end, 150. Effective range, only 500. Reload times 5.8, that's quick. Ammunition cost only a hundred. I don't know. I'm not impressed with that. And we have a split missile launcher, the BML G2 P19 SPL12. Two cell six-way split missile launcher developed by Furlong Dynamics. Missiles split before contact and surround target with homing submissiles. This model focuses on flexibility at the cost of submissile count. Well, this seems alright. 600 times two. For damage, 402 times 2 for impact, so if you land both of those, it's pretty good. 80 rounds, that's a lot. Weight, 3,580. EN loads, about medium. Uh, direct hit adjustment's not great. Effective range, fantastic, 1,425. Reload time, 6 seconds, that's quick. Ammunition cost seems high, 400. Okay. I think that's it for our shoulder weapons. Just the same weapons from the right side here. Yeah. All right, so that's it for shoulder. What about the head? We have a headpiece, VP44D. Head part developed by Archibus, derived from an existing model, engineered in anticipation of regular use by the Vespers. This model features further improvements to stability. 
Uh, so we lose a little bit of AP, we gain some attitude stability, we lose some system recovery. Weight goes down, EN load goes down. I mean, if you want to lose weight and EN load, it's not a bad choice, but we have no need to do that, so... We'll pass on it. We also have a headpiece VE44B. Special head part designed by Archibus ADD. Engineered to accommodate a proposal from B7. This model maximizes scanning performance. Position or positioning its overall performance close to that of a surveillance-oriented concept model. So, AP is 1,040. Attitude stability down slightly. Ooh, system recovery goes up. Weight is about the same. EN load goes up. This might be worth it. Lose some attitude stability for system recovery. I don't know. This is a tough one. I think I like the attitude stability more, though, because, like, the idea is to not have to recover. Scan standby time. Oh, scan effect duration is way up. 18 seconds, and scan standby time is 4.8. So if you want a better scanner, this one's definitely the way to go. But outside of that, I think I'm going to pass. It was close. Core piece. Nothing new. Uh, arms. We have the VP46D. Arm parts developed by Archibus, derived from an existing model, engineered in anticipation of regular regular use by the Vespers. This model features further improvements to performance. So pretty much everything goes down for a little bit of weight loss and EN load loss. No thanks. I pass. And then for our legs, we have tank legs, VE42B. Special tank parts designed by Archibus ADD. Prioritizes hovering performance and forward propulsion to focus on aerial combat. During development, the specs were stolen and leaked by an independent mercenary. So as expected, all the defense stuff goes way up. Load limit goes up. Weight goes way up and EN load goes up. So I'm not into the tank pieces. So I don't particularly want this. All right, moving on. Nothing new in boosters. FCS, I believe this is new. Actually, was that last booster new? Maybe? I honestly can't remember if this is new or not. The BST G2 P06 SPD. Did I have this before? Yeah, we did. Okay, well, I'm going to assume this is not new. Second generation booster developed by Furlon Dynamics. This model prizes movement speed over quick boost thrust, making it a good fit for assemblies that are designed for endurance. So thrust up, upward thrust up, QB thrust down. Actually, we may have looked at this before. Weight down, EN load down. Ah, I'm going to pass. All right, FCS, this is new. The VE-21B. Long range combat FCS designed by Archibus ADD retains ADD's earlier focus on obliterating targets at range while also improving missile performance across the board to enable a walking fortress style of AC. So close range sucks. Medium and long range are good, especially long range. All the rest of this stuff doesn't really matter. I guess missile lock correction goes down, but multi lock is better. But yeah, I like close range. All right, then we got two new generators. We have the AGT-005 Hokushi. Ba's internal combustion generator, generator developed in tandem with Elcano. Improved output allows for use of high burden parts, but supply recovery performance leaves much to be desired. Calling for a degree of EN management finesse. So EN capacity, basically the same. EN recharge, about the same. Supply recovery goes down, weight up, EN output up. Post recovery EN supply sucks. Energy firearm specialization goes way down. Yeah, this is not a good generator. And then finally, we have the VE20C. Circulating current generator designed by Archibus ADD. Features improved EN capacity and output while retaining a focus on energy weapon specialization. However, it suffers from a heavy weight burden and recharging difficulties. So, EN capacity way up. Ian recharge is awful, 555, supply recovery, not great, 377. 
weight really high, like they said. So that's going to affect your boost a lot. Ian output is high, 4,090. Post recovery, Ian supply, not great, 720. It does improve firearm specialization. That's the only thing that would make me consider this, but giving up that boost, I don't think so. So yeah, unfortunately, nothing great, in my opinion. At least not for my builds. But there you go. That's everything new in the part shop. And my voice just barely made it through. So, we got our two S-Ranks for our missions. We checked out all the new stuff, and we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.